waves and friendly smiles Walk the halls with me Studio 515 Watch the news unfold Another very dull moment Students to decreed our future Come and join the fun Studio 415 
days and friendly smiles Plot the halls with me Studio 415 Watch the news unfold Another very dull moment Students to decree our future Come and join the fun Studio 415 Hello, we are coming to you live from Studio 415. On today's show, you'll get to see how members of the NACS community were raising funds and awareness to fight cancer. You'll get to hear how the Carroll baseball team is doing this season. And you'll see the final car tour of the year. All that and more, coming up next. I started track and field because when I was doing cross country, I knew that I liked to go fast. We struggled some games defensively and offensively. We just got to mature in that sense. But other than that, we can make a run this year. We give hope to those then and see that, you know, we are not the only ones fighting. Welcome to a live episode of Studio 415. I'm Jesse Gomez. And I'm Rocky Morrell. According to the American Cancer Society, one in two men and one in three women will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. Many people in the NACS community gather to raise funds to fight cancer. Studio 415 reporter Bryson Klein went to NACS Relay for Life and brings this story. Relay for Life is an annual fundraiser where people walk around the track at Carroll Middle School in order to raise money. This year's event is known as the Festival of Hope. It's different from past events by featuring an all-new music festival theme. On May 4th, from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., the event hosted live music, food trucks, vendors, games, and an Illuminaria ceremony to end it off. Each activity contributes in some way to impacting cancer patients and survivors. Co-chairman for Relay for Life, Tammy Royer, says that Relay for Life has impacted her life. Our first year that we did Relay for Life um, was my first year cancer-free. Um, so being a part of this has helped me to grow, get better, and help pass on that hope and that um, celebration with other people. This year, over $63,000 raised at the event for cancer research. In total, there were 34 survivors in attendance. The event gave each survivor a chance to walk the track in honor of their journey. Caretakers of current or past cancer patients were also allowed to walk the track in honor of, of their help and support. Royer says that this walk gives people experiencing cancer a chance to support each other. We want people to come and encourage each other to whether you've been told you have cancer, you know, just an hour ago or you've been cancer free for 15 years. This is to get everybody together to help support each other, give each other that love. Cancer is a terrible disease that affects people every day. One person in our area who's been affected is CHS Guidance Secretary Kim Watkins. Eight years ago, Watkins was diagnosed with breast cancer. Although she is cancer-free, she still has to take special medication to keep cancer cells away. Watkins says that cancer has affected not just herself, but her friends and family. Definitely changed me, but I think it's changed my kids. It's changed uh, 
my friends, just to be more aware. Um, and also, uh, I have a lot of people reach out to me and say, how can I help someone who I have a friend who's going through cancer? What is it that you would tell me to do for them. If you would like to show your support for the cause, consider going to Relay for Life next year or by donating at donate.cancer.org. For Studio 415, I'm Bryson Klein. Carroll's baseball team is wrapping up the regular season and preparing for sectionals. Studio 415 reporter Andrew Jameson went out and talked to the baseball team to see how their season went this year. The Carroll baseball team started their season tryouts in late February. After that, the coaches picked 38 players to make the team. 21 of the players play varsity and the rest play JV. In baseball, there's offense and defense. A defense is made up of nine people on the field at a time, including pitcher, catcher, shortstop, first, second, and third baseman, and the three outfielders. The offense is made up of batters and anyone who is on base. Baseball is a very difficult and competitive sport. Varsity pitcher Jackson Sparks says that the difficulty is what he loves most about the sport. I just like playing the game a lot. I've always loved it. I love playing something competitive and that's challenging because baseball is very hard. It's a very mental game and I, like, I love that aspect of it. The varsity team started their season in March. The team originally started slow with a 3-2 and two start, but then went on to win 10 of their next 15. They continued very strong throughout the remainder of the season, which has allowed them to have a bye in the first round of sectionals. The baseball team has a very successful history with two state championships in 2010 and 11, and a state runner-up in 1999. The team has also won five sectional championships, including one in 2022. Sparks has high hopes that this year's team can add to the team's past success. He believes that although the team has a few things they need to work on, they have the ability to go far in this year's postseason. We're doing pretty good. Uh, we've struggled some games defensively and offensively. We've just got to mature in that sense. But other than that, we can make a run this year. The JV team also had a successful year. Similar to the varsity, the JV team started slow at 3-3 three and three through the first six games. The team then went strong, winning seven of their next nine. Although the JV season won't continue in sectionals, they still have something to look forward to. With multiple seniors leaving after this year's season, the JV players are the ones who will have to fill in their spots. JV catcher and outfielder Eli Ledger describes how things will be moving forward. I think that with the senior class coming in next year, there's, it's one of the biggest, and when that's gone, we kind of have to kind of have to step up and take a role. So us younger guys are going to have to work harder and and work hard for a spot. The Carroll baseball team will continue their season in sectionals at DeKalb on May 24th at 8 p.m. For Studio 415, I'm Andrew Jamison. Another sports team that is heading towards their postseason is the track and field team. In my story, I spoke with the team and a coach to hear how large the team has gotten and how the season is wrapping up. The track and field team has 15 meets before the sectional meet. There are more than 180 members of the boys and girls track and field teams. There are many different things you can do in track and field. Girls head coach Luke Miller says there are a lot of possibilities for people to do what they want in the track and field team. I won't list all the events, but just to give you some of the categories, basically you can do distance, you can do sprints, you can do jumps, or you can do throws. The Carroll High School track and field team is in Regional 4 for Indiana. Boys and girls both have 16 events each that they can do. The track and field team is open to anyone and doesn't make cuts as it is very inclusive. You can join the team from 9th grade up to 12th grade. Senior Tyler Aaron says the team is very refreshing to him. I chose to join the track and field team because um, more, more for the, because I knew I was good at sprinting, but also because for the team, um, it's fun meeting new, new people and also to, as a senior especially, meeting all the new freshmen and see what the, new, what the program is going to be like in the next few years of school. Unlike most sports, track and field can face many teams at once. In meets, the points are scored as first place gets 10 points, second gets 8 points, and then third gets 6 points, and the team with the most points wins the meet. For regionals, the top three from each of the four sectionals go on as well as the next four best at all of the sectionals to make it 16 people per event. Track can lead to many abilities you can learn that can be very helpful. Senior Addison Windsor says she has gotten good people skills from track and field. I've gotten a lot of skills with just interacting with the teammates and just coaches and the people I'm around. So I'm able to make good relationships and have fun too. So. The girls track and field team is undefeated at Invitationals this year and are trying to go for their fourth straight sectional title. While the boys have been struggling and haven't won a sectional title since 2022, you need to practice a lot if you are in track and field. The practices can vary for the different events. 
Senior Mary Beth Hall gives an example of what regular distance practices look like. Uh, so like today we're doing a long run. We have some aerobic tempos, which are like five miles, and we have our easy days to recover and definitely some good speed workouts as well. Luke Miller has been doing track for a long time. He did track and field back in high school at Bishop Dwinger, where he then proceeded to go to Indiana University Bloomington for college. Miller has been coaching for the track team for six years. In those six years, he has figured out two specific things you need to do well in this sport. Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest thing that we preach is um, you got to basically be able to work hard during practice, and then you have to be able to recover after practice. So in terms of track specifics, those would be the, the two big things. The track and field season is almost to an end as they just finished with sectionals. For Studio 415, I'm Rocky Morrell. L Hall has given you an inside look of, at many of the vehicles that students drive to Carroll every day. In today's final car tour, Ella shows us what's inside of a car named Z. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Car Tour. And I'm Owen Byram. This is the finale, and today, get now. And today we're touring Ella's car. So Ella, what's the make and model and the name? <laughs> um, my car is a 2002 Lexus RX 3... Cheater. <laughs> 300. Her name, you might not know it, but her name is Z. Hey, I sit there. Nope. No, hey, hey, I sit there. <laughs> um, all right, so <laughs> the first problem I'm seeing, <laughs> how do you drive? All right. We have a purse. <laughs> That's not a purse. Oh. That's a makeup bag. Oh, that was a makeup pack. Bag. Bag. We have a red pumpkin. A red. <laughs> this is not a pumpkin. <laughs> um, Ella, I think this deserves a story this... of why it's. <laughs> so this is the annoying orange, and I actually, um, I actually got it. Um, right before Gavin McQueen's car tour. What do you want to tell the audience about this character? Up I'm here? Brown. Um, I got this on my birthday from my brother's now wife, um, and it just fits there. I hear a couple of those say I yeah. Can I we know. get the camera in here. <laughs> that, that's the. This is a Dairy Queen. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you took my little guy. Did you get him rolling away? Oh, you got him. Okay. Um, we Do have you? a mirror, so I can see how pretty uh, I look. Oh, I'm wearing these. <laughs> oh, you, they're prescription. <laughs> well, let's see how blind Ella is. Genie <laughs> Christmas. I look so good hey, with hey, this. Oh, oh my gosh, how do you see without glasses on? Hey, can I see that? I have more stickers, by the way. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, there's a box in here. Stuff is falling out of the box. It doesn't actually leave the car, apparently. All right. Okay, so, hey. Hey, guys. I hope you're having a great day. I still do crochet. Is your car wood flooring? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I have a gift for you. So do you want to explain to the um, audience why... I mean, I know why you have this, but why would you have this in your car? I have a dog. What What's do you mean, why would you have this in your car? Well, because maybe they think this is a lanyard for something. I don't know. Before we open the back, everyone needs to look at Ella's hat. Oh. Evie. Evie can't go up like Umbreon does. I don't know. My brother's wife got me that. Hey, why are you chucking my animals? They're not animals. They're hey, squishmallows. This that this one's an ice cream this cone. This one's cherry. Ella, ice cream isn't an animal. <laughs> do you know that? It's very important <laughs> to me that you know that. Ice cream. Vegetarians can eat ice cream. You know that, right? So uh, move on to here. We have a mushroom and a flower. Um, very cartoonish mushroom, might I add. That's from the annoying orange. That's what we took out of oh. them. <laughs> so we found out why the uh, orange was mutilated, uh, and it was making less annoying. So his name is now Orange. Well, I can be annoying. You sure can. Um, I like these things. You want a sword fight? Yeah, you don't have a sword. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, be careful. <laughs> is there a bomb in here? <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, there are rocks. 
Oh, I'm so glad I was careful with the rocks, Ella. Lord forbid the rocks fall. They're from an old friend of mine. Thank you for a great year of car tour. Great to stretch. Okay. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed the show. I know a lot, some people did, some people didn't. I don't really care. I had a lot of fun making it, and I had a lot of fun touring my car and other people's cars, even Owen's car, even though. <sighs> anyways, um, yeah, and I hope that you all enjoyed. And for the last time, for Studio 415, it's me and Z. You have watched our news stories, but the students in Studio 415 also make other types of videos throughout the year. And we would like to invite you to a free event that will showcase our creative work. You are invited to attend our film festival tonight in the CHS Small Auditorium. This event is free and open to the public, and we will be showcasing music videos, short films, final senior projects, and much more. We hope to see you there. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our final show of the year. For all of us here at Studio 415, have a great summer, Carol.